This is Crin Sharp Briggs and VT. We want the touchdown, we not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street because them bulls out the pen and they about to stand. David a lot. And um, so now they're going to hire a new coach. My personal favorite would be D'Amico Ryans because I've known him, like, like him a lot. Before the preseason game here this year that was on Amazon, I went over to the 49ers dressing room, and when he came in from pregame warm-ups, I shook hands, talked to him a minute, and I said, let me be the first to congratulate you on your new NFL head coaching job. And he laughed and walked away shaking his head. And uh, I'd love to see him here. A lot of fans would. But uh, I have no idea if they're going to hire him. And uh, But I know this, he'll get interviewed. And the 49ers people, I've talked to them this week. They fully expect him to be gone. And uh, follow, follow Robert Sala as their defensive coordinator getting a head coaching job. Yeah. Um, can you clarify one thing for us, Mr. McClain, I'll that all – all these Texan fans rant and rave and, and think they're experts. Deme- yes, D'Amico Ryan's had a lawsuit against the Texans for the injury, but that has nothing to do with the head coaching, correct? Thank you. They, they I- love D'Amico. <laughs> they don't care that D'Amico sued them in the in the stadium. Uh, no, they don't care about that any more than they care that David Mulligetter re- represents C.J. Stroud. We got another three months to go in this evaluation process drive could end up being the number one rated player over Bryce Young. It's too early to know, even though the fans love Bryce Young. But if you watch the last game of CJ Stroud's last two seasons, he was magnificent. And I was at the college football playoff and I watched what Georgia did to TCU. And I thought, man, what CJ Stroud did to Georgia is even more impressive because he almost beat him and he was great. So David Mulligetta represents him. People are saying, well, would the Texans pass him up because of Mulligetta? No, because Watson was a totally separate situation. I can tell you this, Mulligetta gets to the second contract. He says, hey, guys, by the way, I want a no trade clause. They're going to say bleep. <laughs> this is Crin Sharp Briggs and VT. We want the touchdown. We're not trying to go for three. And it's best if you get up out the street because them bulls out the pen and they about to stampede.